Hey, hi there. So, um, today I'm going to explain how those textures we've been working on the previous video can be imported to Unity and how they can be converted to Yuma standard. So, first of all, those textures. I'm... Here we have the GFuse, Normal Map, and the Specular. I'm going to create a new folder here, um, overlays, sorry, overlays, mail, and I'm going to create a mail head uh, tree. Okay. So I'm going to drag those here. Okay, so it's really important here to, uh, first of all, use the full resolution for this texture and use a uh, true color instead of compressed. As the te texture is still going to be uh, converted to human standards, we really want to have full resolution and quality here. Also, I need to uh, specify that this texture is actually a normal map, uh, remembering to turn off the create from grayscale. Okay. And uh, for the specular one, uh, usually I set the alpha for trans transparency. Okay. Okay. Um, so now uh, I'm going to open the the Yuma Material Builder. It's on the the window uh, menu. So this is uh, a tool that Johan has implemented. Sorry. Uh, for handling this conversion of textures and content for the Yuma standards. So, so uh, what, what we actually are going to do here is drag the three textures for this, this guy. It already identified that this is the diffuse, normal map and specular based on naming convention. Uh, keep in mind that the normal map really requires to be to be set in the, in the, in the specific way uh, to work as normal map. And then I'm going to drag the folder. And I simply click in process material. It will take a while. Okay, uh, you should expect having this uh, success message. Uh, and here we have the final mail diffuse texture and the normal map. As you can see, the normal map. The final normal map is quite different from the normal map we are usually seeing in a standard. I'm going to remove those. They are not necessary anymore. Uh, it's really important that we set both of them as advanced and read write if we are using the ng version and then I'm going to apply also for the normal map here there is really it's really important not to set this one as normal map as it already received all necessary conversion this uh, normal map texture also brings the the specular and uh, gloss information 
in two channels. So two channels are for the normal map and two of them are for the speckler and gloss. Uh, I'm going to take uh, for reference this slot here, the Yuma head number two. It's, this is an interesting situation because as you can see this slot is sharing the same diffuse texture from the male head, the base male head, and it's simply overwriting the normal map with a secondary normal map here. So <clears throat> what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this one and bring to the male head number three. And I'm going to overwrite both the GFUs and normal map here. <clears throat> Later I will explain about the channel mask and additive mask uh, for now. Uh, what, um, what's important here is to correct the name of this overlay. The corrected name. This index is going to be updated as soon as we include this uh, overlay on the library, let me show. I'm simply going to drag this one to the library here. And I'm going to click on the order by name and update list. Uh, so it, it is, where are you? Here, so here. Here it is. It's the this one. Uh, it's already updated the index. This rack here for for basic textures uh, or base textures also. We keep those as zeros, uh, telling the the Yuma solution not to do any extra calculation for handling this different uh, resolution. This rect is usually used if you provide an overlay with a different size from the base texture. Uh, so for, for example the uh, eyebrow. You can see the eyebrow is much smaller than the actual head resolution of the of the face so uh, here I'm providing the the values for for the final size of this texture and this is required to uh, actually projecting this in the right place of the head it's a good solution for keeping uh, overlays the smaller size as possible uh, and this also brings some interesting possibilities for uh, applying the same overlay on different uh, positions. Uh, so, well, I now have this overlay, uh, male head number three. Uh, I'm going to copy this name and I'm going to use on the on, on avatar here. Okay, here we go. Um, so now we have an uh, extra overlay, the number three. Simply for having a, a fast feedback, I'm going to overwrite both heads with the male head three. So we can directly test this one. I'm hitting play. And I'm creating, okay. Right, so uh, the male heads here are now using the the overlay number three instead of the male head and male head number two. You see. Well, I I think that's it for now. Uh, Next video, I'm going to explain how to include uh, slots, and uh, I'm going to provide the, all the necessary files uh, on the website. I hope those videos are being useful for you guys.
See ya. Goodbye.